Hello everyone, my name is Decker Link, the Trained Unprofessional, and welcome back to Tennis Ace. On the last episode, we were gearing up to have our possibly last match with the college kids that came back to squash us 90-something to zero. And so on this episode, we're hopefully going to get our revenge, but who knows? Who knows? We shall see what the fuck will happen. So, let's, let's find out. I know Jun-kun said he's going to be watching us. So we shall see, we shall see, in front of an audience, of one shy cat, what will happen? <laughs> it's expected, it's also unbearably hot in here. Every game, I told you, if you watched the last episode of Winds of Change, every game complains about the heat. Every single fucking game. Oh my god. Why is it so hot today? We're in the middle of spring. Please don't let this be an indicative be an indicative of how summer is going to go. No, don't think such thoughts. They only make things even hotter. Ah, the weather food. I was done to think you'd be late. I'm sorry to have to make you wait, Senpai. I prepared for the qualifiers tomorrow. More like a Senpai's expression immediately turned better. I guess. But I'm still a bit annoyed that I haven't managed to beat Kenma in a single practice match so far. I've already noticed that Sasaki-san is crazy good. How did you two even meet, anyway? Hmm? When we go to the same college, isn't it normal that we know each other? Although once Kenma graduates at the end of this year, I'm going to be pretty lonely. Sasaki-san's a senior? Yeah, he's the oldest Japanese player in the program. Not that that's much of a surprise, though, since we're only three, there's only three of us there to begin with. Kimmy used to be the number one player in Japan during his time, you know. He's a pretty big deal, even in our program. Really? How many players do you guys have over at your training center? Hmm. We have 60 or so guys or so, I think. Kimmy is the highest ranked of them all. Can you believe it? Wow, I had no idea Sasaki-san was doing so well. I guess it should come as no surprise that he's such a strong opponent. What about you, Senpai? How do you fare in the program? M me? <laughs> well, I'm doing okay, I guess. Uh, what's your inter internal rank, then? Man, you're not gonna let this go, huh? Hmm. Um, number 37. Huh. A real far cry from Sasaki-san, then. I wonder... What's someone like Sasaki-san doing still competing in challenger events? What about your what the fuck ranks? Uh, uh. I should have probably looked into it, but with so much going on recently, I forgot it. I'm number one, 316. Not too shabby, huh? His smile was very smug. Yeah, you're doing pretty good for yourself considering how you've only been at it for two years. Uh, what about Sasaki-san? Kim? Oh, he's... Number 180. I whistle in admiration. Looks like he's cut from a different cloth entirely. He's only been at it longer. I can totally beat him. I just need more experience. Is that so? Well, in that case, I can hardly wait to see what you're gonna do when you get more of this magical skill gap closing experience that you're going on about. Gamma? Mikado-san sent me here to fetch you since we're about to begin practice, but I suppose you, you, you'd rather stay here and boast to your former underclassmen. What? Kimba, wait a second! Damn, deja vu bells are ringing all over my head watching those two interact. Well, the Vagoon, could you get started with your preparations? The boys won't stay, be able to stay with us for the entire day like they have been for the past few days. So you only get one match against each of them. Yes, sir. I guess I should start warming up then. Turn around to talk to June, who's uh, been silently watching me since we first walked into the building. Uh, except for when I was getting changed. During that time, he was awkwardly looking away with his face beat red. Are you sure he's you're okay with, just, with me just leaving you here? It can't be that interesting just watching our practice without doing anything. Don't worry about it. I have fun watching. Uh, I guess I'll do as he says then. Alright, if you say so. I'm gonna get started on my warm up, but feel free to come talk to me until the match starts. Sure! Alright, we're gonna get started on our first match of the day, Moisaki vs. Hayes. 
Now, brother the goon, do try to win at least once, will ya? Shut up! I'm already trying to! Oh, God. I don't want to do a quick time event. Stupid crocodile sticking his nose, stupid nose was not needed. More like a senpai smiles at me, giving me an okay signal. Just like in our first match, he asked me to take the first serve. I'm afraid of getting it so easily, bro getting so easily broken like last time, but I want to test myself. I can feel that I've made substantial progress since our first match. I want to believe that I can at least keep up, keep my serve, if not outright win a set. Alright, it's time to get rid of all these sleepishness and laziness that I've been feeling all day. Now is when I need to focus the most. I toss my ball into the air and hit it with as much power as I can. As the ball leaves my racket, I can already tell that it's going to be a good serve. Unlike at our first match where it's easily reached most of their serves, this time Senpai barely reaches the ball in time to hit it back, returning a weak slice right back. I say weak, but in reality, there aren't many players in my age class that can return a ball with such a tight spot. Tight spot. The way it is right now, even if I have the advantage, I can't just clinch the point like I usually do. I have to be very careful with the placement of my shots. Make a mistake in my slot selection, my shot selection, and he'll pounce on it like a predator. I settle for a shallow cross court, hitting at, hitting at an acute angle. Usually a fast angle shot would be almost certainty score for, for a point, at least where the junior level is concerned, but Morisaka Senpai's defensive range is so ridiculous that he'll surely reach. He manages to return the ball with the last second, he then immediately starts running towards the net. Seems I'll have to drive him out of, out of there by force. No matter, I was already expecting this development anyway. Instead of relaying, relying on some delicate control I don't have, I just decide to spike the ball with everything I have to the other side of the court. Oh, we hit it! Yay! While my methods may be crude, I managed to drive the ball past him, scoring the point. 15-0! The look on his face tells me he's frustrated. Of course he'd be. For someone looking to play serve and volley, not being allowed to get on the net is one of the most annoying things possible. Even if he's leveled up in all parameters, as long as I don't allow him to surprise me, he shouldn't be able to just walk all over me. I can put up a fight. This time I attack with a slower, albeit much more spin-oriented serve. A sudden change of rotation catches him by surprise, forcing an error. 13 30-0! pump my fist in the air. All those endless hours of practice are paying off. I've somehow managed to level up my skills during this week of hellish training. And yet, Morisaki Senpai doesn't look all too worried about it. Either he has the world's greatest poker face, or he doesn't think I could have caught up to him in these five days. I'll show... him. <laughs> as soon as play starts again, I'll make sure to sp pin him down with my serve. His baseline game has certainly improved. It's come to the point where he can even hold me, a dedicated baseliner back. Still, that's nothing more than a difference in experience. To begin with, there's never been any fundamental difference in the way the two of us hit our ground strokes. He just knows how to use them way better. In that case, instead of tying, trying to corner him with my strokes, I'll keep him, I'll just keep him from using those legs of his. When I finally allowed myself to properly watch him, I realized that Senpai's strokes were still fairly crude. While his volleys were incredibly delicate and controlled, he wasn't all that confident in his ground strokes. That's when I realized Senpai's true strength. He had a footwork like no other, capable of reaching balls most players would, have, would deem unreachable. If you add that to his incredible stamina, Senpai's incredibly aggressive net play was also boosted by a sudden addition of a highly defensive baseline play. Due to that, he could e just leisurely stay back whilst looking for an opportunity to attack. There's no traces of his gung-ho aggressive play left in him. Such a style is not all that un uncommon nowadays. Dedicated serve and volleyers are rare to see in modern tennis to begin with. Most players would go for a balanced approach. That's why I had such a great sense of discomfort when we first started playing. To put it simply, the image I had of Senpai's tennis was completely different from his current style. He was indeed, he has indeed changed a lot over the past few years.
until I refuse to lose to someone who has conceded the initiative. It is a matter of principle. Even if I'm behind, the only thing I can do is attack. That's the only style I can play. My first serve goes into the net. Shit. My logic would dictate that I have to lower the difficulty of my next serve. My mind also comprehends that that would be no good. If it was not, sir, if it was, if it's not good enough to be an ace or at least close to it, then it almost certainly will be countered. It's something I can't, I simply cannot allow. This time I decide to be more aggressive, going for a wide flat serve. He has difficulty reaching the ball and ends up sending it closer to the center. Jesus. Despite my advantage, the longer we keep battling it out in ground strokes, the clearer it becomes that I have no hope in winning in the long run. It was already a miracle that I managed to close the distance between us as to pressure him in like this in only just a week. When I thought about that, I really didn't want to lose. Morisaki Senpai attacked my backhand with a rapidly uh, rising topspin shot. Unable to hit the ball properly, I end up hitting it outside the court. Aww. Damn it! 40-30! Crap, this is tough. The match has been super high paced since the start to begin with. Even though this is just the first game, I'm feeling incredibly tired already. I'm sure all the accumulated fatigue isn't helping any. By all accounts, I'm the worst possible I'm in the worst possible physical shape right now due to all the fatigue. Still, I've gotten to a point where I could probably fight it out with him. Now it's not so easy to say who will win. I have a chance! I managed to make it through with a flat aiming, uh, a flat, with a flat shot aiming close to his body. In return, was just shallow enough that I could go for another acute angle towards the other side of the court to score the point. Game haze, one zero. Morisaki Senpai nods approvingly, and we quickly switch courts. He seems rather satisfied for someone who just lost a game. With the corner of my eye, I could see that Geikun has arrived and has begun to warm up with Sasaki-san. If I weren't busy with my own match, I would definitely want to watch theirs. Simbai sets himself up to serve. I mentally prepare myself, running a simulation of his serve in my head. After the first day of matches, Mikado Sensei managed to get us a few tennis radar guns to measure the speed of our shots. Over the past week, Senpai's fastest serve clocked in at 210 kilometers per hour, with his average being at 189. My fastest serve was in comparison only 192 kilometers per hour, with the average about 175. It was easy to see where I failed to compare. To make up for my lack of speed, I had to tighten my course to use much riskier shots. As a result, I have almost, I have almost had almost five times more double faults than usual. Not only that, his serve was much faster than that of the average player in the U18. If I can get used to them, it'll surely help me in the future. Senpai serves, shooting up a f fast flat shot to the center. While he has definitely started to use spin shots more often uh, after going to America, he still favors power over technique. We certainly are alike in that aspect. I somehow managed to return it, though it is weak. Oh, Senpai rushes to the net. I try to respond in time, but he quickly puts it away with a drop volley. Yeah! Coach whistles. You just clocked it, clocked 210 on that serve just now. Really? Nice. I guess it won't be that easy to break him, huh? Neither his serve nor his spirit. <laughs> the high pace of the game doesn't change at any point during the remainder of the set. By the time the score reads 6-5, I already feel like my legs are on fire. I really need to improve my stamina. In the end, it took everything I had to keep my serve, while Senpai did the same effortlessly. Alright, it's time! Get back to the core, you two! Uh. These timeouts are the only thing keeping me rested enough to continue. And I still have to play Sasaki-san after this. Somebody save me! Mosaki senpai gets into position to serve, so I make my way to my own mark. This is the last chance to break him. With the way I've been struggling to score, winning with a tie break will be pretty much impossible. Make sure to keep his spin serve in mind. I catch myself mumbling under my breath. If it's all I can do just to react to a serve, then I need to start anticipating it. Have I really reached a point where I can't win without having to rely on luck? 
Shit, 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 shit. Fucking wa center. Fuck. Okay. Hold up. <laughs> that was our first fucking uh, time thing. Uh, <laughs> that was our first timed event. I wasn't ready, and it wasn't registering that I was doing anything. My instincts scream at me to go for the center. I pour every ounce of my remaining strength on my legs and go for it. I'm honestly surprised when my racket makes contact. Morisaki Senpai gasps in shock. I put all my power into returning the ball to the opposite side of the court. For a second, Senpai freezes. When he finally starts moving, it's already too late. The ball that returned paints the end line and scores me the point. 15-0. Yes! Even Coach is completely stunned. I'm honestly surprised as well. I hate to, that I had to rely on my own luck for that return, but I'm thanking every single god that I know of that I was able to guess it right. Morisaki readies his next serve. Even if I did that, did get that one serve, in reality the situation hasn't changed. I would have to repeat that at least three more times to win this game. Doing so without allowing him to score, no matter how I look at it, it's impossible. But if it's the only way to win, there's nothing else I can do. Crap, I lost focus. He's already serving. This is bad. Wham! The ball flies right into the net. Fuck! Did he just make a mistake? Morisaki Senpai seems somewhat shaken. What just happened? Could he be... Senpai immediately prepares to serve again. His whole body looks tense. His face is scrunched up in a look of anger. The ball hits outside of the serve zone. D Double fall. Sturdy O. Huh? What just happened? Could this be an unforeseen consequence of my return ace just now? I see. Of course. I was so focused on how much he had improved that I forgot... Even though he's a pro, Morisaki Senpai has only just joined the Major Tour. He doesn't have all that much experience over me, so of course he's still unused to dealing with someone, some adverse scenarios. He, he knows just as well as I do that the first point is the most important in a game. It sets up the whole pace for that game. If the point is suddenly taken from him with a return ace of all things, he is bound to suffer from severe mental stress. And now that I think of it... Even though he was clearly the better player, he spent the whole week seeing me catch up to him bit by bit, tenaciously returning his shots. It's reached a point where I can even push him around. Of course something like that would be stressful. No matter how good you are or how unflappable you may be, no one can stay composed for that long. So this is my way out. I just have to take advantage of Moisaka Senpai's current stress to win. He readies his next serve and I can tell he's severely lowered his difficulty. This time the ball goes in, but it's so slow that I have an easy time catching up to it. <laughs> Normally I'd return it to the farthest point of the court, but with the way he is right now, perhaps a body shot would rattle him further. I decide more moments I decide mere moments before striking the ball, sending it flying right towards Morizaki Senpai. He freezes for a second and He's too sluggish. He manages to move out of the way, but he can't position himself properly. His shot hits the net. 40 0! Even Coach is astounded. A body shot isn't normally all that effective. Its main purpose is to add stress to your opponent, and even then, it wasn't all that successful. But used against someone who's already out of their game. Morisaki Senpai grips his racket tightly and lifts it up into the air. For a second, it looks like he might smash into the ground, but he stops. He puts a hand to his chest and breathes in deeply. 15 seconds! Coach calls the time. If Morisaki Senpai makes 10 more seconds... If Morisaki Senpai takes 10 more seconds to make his serve, he will be issued a warning. Morisaki is a warning, you know! Morisaki Senpai ignores him, and he just stays rooted to his spot, breathing deeply. If he's using his warnings right now to flex his altered mind state, then am I in trouble? Morisaki, it's a time violation now! I'm issuing you a fault! Morisaki continues to ignore him. What is he doing? 15 seconds! 10 more seconds until he's issued a double fault. If that happens, I'll be winning the game. Morisaki Senpai opens his eyes and red moves to the spot, signaling to the coach he's ready. Grips the ball in his hand and tosses it, tosses it to serve. Wham! 
It's fast! Unbelievably fast! I can't even react to it! The ball just soars past me! Ugh. Coach gasps. When I look over, I can see him gaping, holding the radar gun. T 225 kilometers per hour! What? That's 15 kilometers per hour KPH over his previous best! Oh, really? Well, then that just made my personal best! Nice! Morisaki Senpai doesn't seem to the least bit surprised by it. He turns to stare at me and our eyes make contact. That look. That's the same look he gave me during our first match, right before his play had, seri had a serious level up. I haven't seen that look before that match or since. Could this be... Uh, looks like you're in a pinch now. Gah! Kemba Sasaki appears right behind me, scaring the crap out of me. S S sasaki san what are you... I look a little to the side and see Keisuke standing next to him, looking grumpy. Our eyes meet for just a second and he looks away. Is their match already over? Oh, uh, wait, what do you mean? Why am I in a pinch? He looks at me with a disinterested look. Is this guy always so dispirited? I'm sure even you can tell Kaito's switch has been flipped. I doubt that you can handle him when he's like this. But wait, are you saying he hasn't been playing seriously so far? No, he's definitely been serious. He isn't the top to play around, but... Sometimes he just seems to play even better. His reactions improve, his shots suddenly have more weight, his legs seem to carry him even faster. It's enough to overwhelm even me. He would certainly be ranked much higher if he could only if he could if only he could play like that in every game. Wait, you're kidding, right? You're telling me he can play even better than before? Then what was the meaning of everything I did until now? Are you saying I can't win anymore? No way! Hey, Kimo, what the hell are you doing? Bystanders aren't supposed to be interrupting the match. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. Sasaki-san turns to me one last time with his face suddenly looking very grim. Good luck. You're gonna need it. No way. Once I get back into position, play resumes once more. Sasaki-san's was a Whoa, what the fuck? Sasaki-san's words keep echoing in my head. Morisaki Senpai improve that much? Is this sort of thing even possible? Morisaki Senpai tosses the ball into the air and immediately hits it way before it was finished rising. A quick serve? Crap, I'm completely caught by surprise. There's no way I can return it. The ball hits the wide mark and just before I'm left astound astounded. 228 KPH. You really outdone yourself now. 34 to 30. I wasn't expecting a quick serve of all things. Shit, I have to find a way to turn this around. The flow of the match was swaying my way and now it's completely turned into the opposite direction. If I don't do something fast, I... You all right, Hayes? Uh, yes, I'm sorry, read it when you are. Crap, this isn't the time to be standing around in a daze. I have to do something. For now, I just focus on his serve. Engrave his image in my eyes, read every detail of it. If I can react even one second, one millisecond faster, then surely... Huh? What's this? What's this feeling? Everything... My eyes begin to focus much faster than before. My vision just became much clearer. I can see Senpai moving with such clarity. It's going to be wide. My body starts moving on its own. Before I notice it, I'm at the ball's destination before it even passed the net. Yeah? I hear something I shouldn't. With all this blood rushing to my head, I can swear I hear him gasping in surprise. Honestly, I'm just as surprised as you are. But my body has a mind of its own. I swing with all I've got and hit the ball back with a, with a wide. The ball escapes to the side with a slice. It's low bounce, making it even more difficult to reach. What the? I hear Kim san gasp. This is the most emotion I've heard in his voice all day. Senpai dashes the ball and somehow manages to hit it over. Still, I can easily reach it. My body moves before I have to think. What is going on with me? I hit the ball back and the rally ensues. Senpai and I are locked into a match of ground strokes. This is odd. I can tell that, that he is reacting faster than before, but I can still keep up. For some reason, even though he's easily overwhelming me before, now we are on even footing. My body feels much lighter than before, and I seem to be reacting with much faster now. What is this? Senpai cuts into one of my shots with a slice and tries to go towards the net. 
I react almost instantly and return the ball with a deep lob. He has to jump back to reach and ends up st stuck behind the baseline again. As long as I keep him com from coming up, I should be able to handle him. Still, this fast pace is exhausting. I'm not sure how much I can, how long I can to keep this going. How long has this rally even lasted? 20 shots? 30? I'm not even sure anymore. Senpai goes towards the ball and gets ready for another slice. Is he going to try to reach the net again? Wait, something about his posture is off. There it is again. What is this? I'm almost straining my eyes, but I can make it out. He's not going for a slice. It's a fake. He's going for a drop shot. Fuck. No, no, no. Fuck you. That's not fair. Because I'm using a controller. I don't have a mouse. Fuck you. I start running before the ball is even hit. My body immediately reacts to what I see. I'm surprised. I'm surprised even myself with how fast I went. I managed to reach the ball instinctively and tap it over. I return the drop shot with a drop shot. When I look up, I see Morisaki Senpai was late on his reaction. Please score! Morisaki Senpai jumps with all his might, his chest hitting the floor with a resounding thud. Still, he's a second too late. The ball taps twice, scoring me the point. Everyone goes silent. For just a second, it's like everyone's voices got stolen. No one dares to even make a sound. Uh. Yes! I lift my fist, punching the air with all my might. The crowd erupts in cheers, nearly making me daff. Good. Game, set, and match. One by Hay, seven to five. <sighs> As expected, I didn't stand a chance. I could barely even move, let alone play a full set. And yet I could only make take one set from Morisaki Senpai. I never even managed to beat Sasaki-san. Geikun had it even worse. His best score overall was 122 sets, was losing by six to three. The girls, on the other hand, did super well. Saya man actually managed to win ten of her sets. We really do suck in comparison, huh? Coach had us get together to thank the guys for their help. With this, our one-week intensive training program is over. Uh. Everyone was chatting excitedly. I hope to get to play with you again sometime soon, Mizuguchi san! No, it's Kei uh, currently ranked number 421 in the What the F What the Ass! and winner of the All Japan Junior two years ago. I can't wait for us to play again on the big court with a big audience, Sheena senpai! The girls seem to be getting along remarkably well. Sure, Coach, I'll make sure to pass the message to the Fasium. Uh, also, where Mor Moriyama is concerned, seems the coach still treats Morisaki Senpai as a student, even after he became a well established pro player. The timing for your drop shot is too slow. When you're giving your opponents ample time to react, you should try fixing that. Yeah, yeah, anything else? I can't be sure if those two are having a conversation or fighting. I really can't believe they're, they've are they been here for a week. I mean, no, it's day three, so they haven't been here for a week. I'm a wreck and I can barely stand, yet I feel oddly satisfied. Oh, Rutherford! Crap, uh, Morizaki-senpai! Next time, I won't lose. You'll see. You won over 40 sets and you're upset about the single set you lost? Who says I'll let ya? Still, these things are okay even once in a while. The guys say the guys say goodbye to us one last time and leave for their van. This week went by really f by in a flash. It went by in three days. It's day three. It's day fucking three. I feel a little cheated. Dunkun is walking next to me as we head home, still rocking out to this goddamn song. Well. We'll see why he's feeling cheated in the next episode. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, I have been the trained and professional. Speaking for the voices in my head when I say... Fare thee well. Bye, everyone! Oh, it's gonna start up again? Fuck you.